This is a video of some of our guys doing four by one handoffs in practice. You see some good stuff and some stuff that we can improve on for context. This is their first handoff of the day. In fact, this is the first handoff of the outdoor season with these people specifically handing off to each other. They did two relay runs um, to get the, the motion of the handoffs down. Now they're doing it with the tennis ball for the first time. This is a junior coming in who's mainly been a jumper. It's his first time doing four by one handoffs. He's handed off to a fairly experienced 4 by 100 meter runner of us who's also a junior. The third tennis ball that you see there, this one right here, is the one that we're looking at. So he's coming up on that tennis ball, and when he hits that tennis ball, our athlete should be gone. So as you can see here, he's not gearing up as much. So this athlete is coming in, hit that tennis ball. This back foot here should already be up, and he should already be gone. The back foot's not gone. He adjusts a little bit here, and as you can see, it's still not gone. By the time it's gone, he's at least three, four, five, six feet outside the zone. That means this is going to be a very close handoff. And as you can see, it is a very close handoff. What's good is that the athlete coming in, he has to slow a little bit, but he keeps running fast and gets him the stick. He shouldn't hold the stick out until he says uh, stick, but that's a minor thing we can work on that. This athlete coming here, you're going to see the same issue. This is a junior, and he has let off 4 by ones for us in the past. Him coming in, the mistake that he makes is that when he comes in and realizes he's too close, he slows down and never picks up his speed, and you're going to see what happens with this. He's coming in. This guy he's handed off to, this is the tennis ball we're going at, by the way, has never done a 4 by one handoff before, so he doesn't anticipate enough. And they, you can see, oh, he gets run away from. That's what happens if you slow down in a 4x1. All right, as you can see, the problem with him coming in here like this is that he didn't anticipate enough. Again, here's he's hitting that tennis ball right there, which would mean the outgoing runner should already be off the ground, pushing off and running. He's never done a 4x1 handoff before. I didn't do a good enough job explaining this to him. He's only seen a couple of them, so he's a little late getting out. And as you can see, by the time that leg finally gets off the ground, our athlete is already an entire stride past the tennis ball, so we know this is going to be close. The lane discipline's pretty good, so he's got some room, but instead he sees the zone, he goes, oh, i got to slow down a little bit. He waits to stay stick until they're in the zone. He throws his hand when we're in there, but because he doesn't get it right away and he's not running fast, he gets blown away from him. From. A textbook case is why you need to keep running through the zone. This next handoff here is fairly good. It's by, these are two juniors. So this is a junior right here who's never done track before. He's only been track for a couple weeks. He sent it off to a senior who ran track as a freshman but hasn't the past couple years. He gets out a little bit late but not too bad. They're in the zone and this is actually a fairly good handoff for the first handoff of the year and the first 4 by one handoff of their life for both of those kids. And this is the best one. And again, these are two new athletes. This is a freshman, never done 4 by one handoffs before, and he's handing off to a senior his first year in track and field. He gets out very well, running strong. Their lane discipline is very good. And as you can see, they completed easily the best handoff. And my freshman there keeps on running, which is what they're instructed to do, especially in practice.